Welcome to this video guide for the NEC SL1000 and SL1100 desktop suite. Throughout the video, I will be referring to the SL1100, but keep in mind this also applies for the SL1000. In this video, we will go over setting up your NEC SL1100 to accept connections from the NEC SL desktop suite. We'll run the installer program and the initial client configuration. We will also discuss your options to pair the SL desktop suite with your NEC digital or NEC IP phone or to run the application as a standalone soft phone. Some things that may need your prior attention. First, the PC that you'll be installing the NEC SL desktop suite on needs to be able to connect across your data network to your NEC SL 1100. Second, if you have a Windows firewall or another firewall between that PC and your NEC SL 1100, you'll need some ports open or an application exception to allow data flow. These ports can be found in the install guide. To connect to the NEC SL1100, you need to make sure it is set up to accept connections from the SL desktop suite. Specifically, we need to make sure that the first party CTI port is set to 8282, the operation and maintenance port, also known as the O&M port, is set to 8010, the SIP port is set to 5080, the license port is set to 6080. In a minute we'll be leaving this PowerPoint to go into system programming to set these values. In order to access your NEC SL1100, you'll need installer level access to the NEC SL1100 to configure the ports and verify the O&M user account. Refer to your documentation for this account. The NEC SL Desktop Suite uses a user administrator account to log in to the NEC SL1100. An account with sufficient rights to interact with the NEC SL1100 can be found in Memory Block 9002. We're going to be using the user1 account with the password of 111 in this video. Now we're going to log in to the NEC SL1100. You can use any web browser to log in to the NEC SL1100. Simply point the browser to the IP address of your phone switch. Then log in with an installer admin account. The programming section that contains the data that we want to look at is under System Data. The NEC SL1100 programming is logically grouped by memory blocks. We want to go to memory block 102009. Here we can see that the first party CTI port is set to 8282. Program 102011 for the O&M server is set to 8010. Next we go to 104606 and make sure that the SIP register port is set to 5080. Next, we go to 104701 and verify that the register port for the license server is set to 6080. Finally, we go to memory block 9002. Here, we verify that there is a user administrator account, the one we'll be using is set to user1 with the password of 1111. Press home 
and log out. We are now done with the programming of the NEC SL1100 to accommodate connections from the SL desktop suite. We are now going to install the SL Desktop Suite client on this computer. I have the install application on the desktop here and to get it started I'll double click on it. Accept the software license agreement. After the installation of the NEC middleware, we will begin the installation of the SL Desktop Client. Accept the license agreement. I recommend installing the application in the default folder. and the NEC SL Desktop Suite has been successfully installed. The first time you run the application, it will start a setup wizard. Enter the network name or the IP address of the NEC SL 1100. I've chosen the IP address. Make sure that your CTI port, SIP port, and license port matches that which you entered earlier in the NEC SL1100. Enter the O&M port. An O&M user, I'm using user1, the user ID is case sensitive and the password is 1111. Now this application can be configured to run as a soft phone which would be a standalone telephone on your PC where you could use a USB headset and operate entirely as a telephone without any physical instrument. Your other option is to have this application control an SL series desk set. We will be setting up this application to pair with an SL series telephone. I also want to start this in trial mode since I don't have a license. The extension number I'll be pairing with is extension 101. When running in the trial mode, you will get this warning letting you know how many days are left in your trial period. If you have a license for this application, you will not see this trial period warning. As you can see, we have the SL Desktop Suite up and running. It's connected to the SL1100 phone switch and in the next video we're going to take a look at changing some of the configuration options to set this up to work just the way we want it. Thanks for watching this video.